our challenges were again it was a very legacy environment i mean typical of any organization we have close to about 200 uh, 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 production applications most of these have been designed in a very stove five fashion fashion and we needed to be able to consolidate that um, we had uh, infrastructure which was dedicated to individual applications so the ability to be able to tap performance or capacity on demand was extremely limited so we recognized that uh, we needed a, a more integrated standard based architecture the legacy environment lacked that so we needed to be able to overcome that over time um, our help desk system, for example, was, was decentralized. We needed to be able to, from a, from a hard perspective, provide a single point of entry. So if Bijinder Paul, if I have an application issue, if I have a, a desktop issue, I need to be able to call one help, help desk, if you will, and, and uh, have my problem taken care of. We began this, this contract in 2005. Um, <clears throat> We have gone through a rapid modernization of the data center. We consolidated the help desk. And the key part of the, the, the modernization or consolidation was virtualization of our Unix environment and the Windows environment. And that has unleashed, truly, at the enterprise level, tremendous performance capacity that allows, has allowed us to, to deploy a number of business systems. The bottom line was, when the virtualization was complete, not a single mission critical system went down. When we looked at the performance LS, SLAs, when we looked at the capacity for deploying new business systems compared to the baseline in the legacy environment, had dramatic improvements. When we talk about these benefits, you know, infrastructure cost, it's a fact that over the life cycle, we have reduced the total cost of ownership by 20% of baseline core services at the data center level. Virtualization was key. Now, from a government's perspective, with the, with the uh, reduction in budget, OMB looks at those kind of things. The Hill looks at that very closely. Are you really, truly optimizing your services, infrastructure? Why are you using particular technology? What relevance does it have to the budget over time? And we were able to demonstrate, oh, by the way, one of the key areas of our modernization was virtualization. And that was one of the catalysts for reducing the, the, the overall cost by 20% on the infrastructure side. From a business perspective, what I care about is, is Bijinder Paul or CPD, a community plan, planning development executive, the folks which are on the field actually conducting the mission, are they satisfied? They don't care whether we've used virtualization technology or we've done consolidation at the, at the data center, or we've improved our networks. What they care about is, you know, I've got, it, I have grants to issue, and I have a timeline constraints that I need to be able to process the grants and issue those grants and move forward with the mission. And the systems provide those capabilities. Are they satisfied with the, with the performance? And in fact, we ran a uh, customer satisfaction survey fairly recently, 93% customer satisfaction level. That's the outcome.